Hey everyone, Token Dave over here, the dorky token black guy who's just trying to get by. And welcome to another edition of the Godzilla Garage, where I exclusively talk about Godzilla and Godzilla related content. Well, I already spoke about Godzilla Awakening. Now it's time for me to also talk about Godzilla Aftershock, the second graphic novel that is related to the MonsterVerse series, okay? So, and this particular story takes place after the events of Godzilla 2014, but it's also a prequel to Godzilla King of the Monsters, a movie that I'm going to be seeing in within 36 hours. So, this story uh, picks up where a titan attacks a military facility in Guam, and Monarch is sent to investigate. And leading the investigation is Dr. Emma Russell, who is going to be a character in the new movie. However, after the events of 2014, where it's public about the Titans, you know, the U.S. government has sent a um, an observer, you know, who is in the interest of the people and the government to monitor Monarch's activities within this case. And basically, we've discovered that the creature that attacked that military facility is called the uh, uh, Jin Shimushi, who is actually, you know, the alpha of the Mudos. And with such a threat around, it's even more likely that Godzilla, as well as the world, is in grave danger. Okay, so I was, I ordered this months in advance. I was so excited to get this bad boy. I even, they, when I got this, it wasn't delivered to my doorstep. Luckily, my neighbor was able to get it and I got my hands and knees and thankful to get this. And after reading it, I, um, well, I'm a little concerned about the movie. Okay, if this is anything to go by. Now, the thing is, uh, uh, one thing about Godzilla movies is we don't care too, too much about the human characters. And a uh, complaint about 2014 was there was too much focus on the human characters and not enough focus on Godzilla. Well... This novelization, you know, we really focus on these human characters and predominantly there is more people to pay closer attention to, but they are not as interesting, you know, and yeah, that's a big problem, you know, especially since Godzilla Awakening, when we were following Ishiro Serizawa's father, he was a more intriguing character than the three leads that we're following. In addition, basically, the Titans in this, they're not that interesting in themselves. Granted, there are some questions about something that we saw in 2014 in the very beginning with the, you know, a giant skeleton and the Moodle eggs. That does get explained in, t in here. And we actually get, you know, more information about the Mutos, you know, specifically because of, you know, the antagonistic, you know, Titan is the Jin Shinmushi, aka the, uh, what you call Dragon Beetle, aka Moodle Prime, you know, and this one is much bigger and much deadlier than the other Mutos and easily kicks Godzilla's ass a lot throughout the graphic novel. Now, with all that additional information, it's good that we have an understanding, but it doesn't add anything exciting or any nuance to it. Heck, even Godzilla's appearance in this graphic novel, his, um, it's there, but you know, you're not that intrigued. He just, he shows up a lot more than he did in Awakening, but this is a case of like, you know, oversaturation. You know, whereas Godzilla Awakening had a decent balance and an interesting character to follow along, this just spats out characters that, you know, are really one-dimensional, 
you know, of course, you're going to have the stuffy government types and you're going to have some, you know, Titan battles, which are actually are actually not all that interesting. So, yeah, I um, I can't recommend this for anyone. I mean, you know, it will pass the time, but, you know, it doesn't have as much of a reread value in it. I will say that the Jinshimushi is the best thing in this whole graphic novel, but a little bit goes a long way and it's, you don't get a little bit of anything in this. And that's the problem that I find. There's way too much in here and not enough interest. Not enough interesting happens. Agree? Disagree? Please drop me a comment below. Give me a like. Follow me on Facebook at Token Dave or on Twitter and Instagram at Token Dave 80. Subscribe and ring that bell so you know when a new video loads. But until then, this has been Token Dave, the Dorky Token Black Guy who's just trying to get by. I'll catch all of you later.